Hetzner just introduced their new VPS line based on Neoverse RM processors. On paper, they look amazing because for the same price as x86 based instances, you will get more cores, more RAM, more storage, so let's benchmark them. First, let's take a look at PHP Bench. Yeah, that doesn't look that amazing. PHP Bench is a single core benchmark, so we don't see any benefit from more cores. This is performance of single core, and we can clearly see that at least in this test, x86 Zen 2 cores are just way better. Redis Benchmark. Same story, no real benefit with more cores. Zen 2 is ahead. ZSTD compression. Here we can see all cores are being used, but still, Hetzner CPX is way ahead. Encryption test. Here we see first win for Hetzner CEX. ARM processors are very good in terms of encryption, TLS performance, for a very long time, so it's not surprising. AES256 GCM is used in TLS 1.3, so this benchmark is important if you host anything using HTTPS. If we are talking about hosting, let's see Nginx performance. Yeah, that's what I told you. Encryption performance was a great indicator of performance in serving websites. ARM performance here is great. Not only you get more power, but also more RAM and more disk. MariaDB benchmark. Here, just like in Nginx, we can see that Hetzner CEX line of instances are good choice. Amazing performance for your money, so Hetzner CEX looks like a no-brainer for web hosting. But it's not no-brainer for anything that wasn't optimized for REM. AV1 encoding performance. Here, performance of REM ARM REM is just completely awful. It's not surprising because SVT AV1 is created by Intel, so of course they are optimizing everything for x86, but still it's widely used and it's basically the best encoder. You can see, or rather cannot see, performance of CPX11. It crashed all the time because 2GB of RAM is just not enough for this kind of use. Cheaper CEX11 didn't crash, however, because it has 4GB of RAM. And that's where we need to talk for a minute. Yeah, ARM performance is not consistent at all and it can be completely awful. But because these chips are so much cheaper, it means that Hetzner can give you twice as much RAM, twice as much storage at a lower price. This is what is important, because if you need some amount of RAM, then additional performance of x86 won't help. So should you consider Hetzner CEX instances? Yes, if you will use common and I would even say generic server apps like Nginx, because a lot of less known apps or libraries are not optimized for REM. I've tested a lot of other things, for example WebP encoding, and as long as tasks are not in parallel, then they are single-threaded, so Hetzner CPX instances with x86 are just way superior. Not only that, but remember that many, many applications just don't work on REM. Nginx works, Apache works, MariaDB works, Postgres works. So you should be able to use control panels that use these components. But the most popular panel, cPanel, doesn't work on REM. So there always can be some gotcha when you want to install something and one package, just one package or one component don't work on REM and you can do nothing about it. That's why you should test Hetzner CEX for your own use case. Hetzner bills you per hour, so testing is very cheap. But if you want to know my opinion, then I will choose Hetzner CEX only if I would know that I need more RAM, more storage, or I would run many things at once. They have more cores at the same price, but if you won't use them all, then individual cores from Zen 2 based Hetzner CPX instances are just way superior. That's all for today. Have a nice day.